right, the gym was full of plenty of players today at Towson University, but there wasn't a game going on. Yeah, it was about more than just basketball for the Tigers. WMER 2 News' Sean Stefano explains. A basketball Towson clinic three, with an out. inclusive That's purpose. One, two, three, Towson! It's great to do. It's, re it's rewarding, I think, for our guys. It gives them some perspective. And gives the participants, like Chris Hicks, a day of fun. It's good to help us out with us individuals and autism spectrum. The Towson University men's and women's basketball teams hosting a clinic for the Hussman Center for Adults with Autism. I've been there since 2011 and you know, it's good to be working with individuals like myself and trying to build better lives. We can make someone's day just by passing the ball, making them smile, rebounding for them, so it's awesome. It's fun, it's enjoyable, and it's celebrating each other. Four. Coach Diane Richardson has two children on the autism spectrum. I'm glad you came. Coach Pat Scary has an autistic son. Ready for some hoops? Scary founded yes. Coaches yes. Powering Forward for Autism six years ago. Together with Autism Speaks, they help raise autism awareness throughout college basketball. And a big weekend coming up here for the Towson men's team. They'll host their annual autism awareness game at CQ Arena against College of Charleston. Get after it, Dallas. It's their sixth annual such contest. Scary says the arena volume will be a little lower. There will be a sensory friendly room and special food items for those who have eating issues. You know, I get a lot of emails and stuff after the game from people saying they've never been able to bring their child to a sporting event because they were maybe nervous, had a little trepidation over that, and then that they had a great time and experience and they're going to do it again. So that, that makes you feel pretty good. Saturday's game tips off at 2 p.m. The Tigers will be playing for more than a W in the standings. They'll be playing for Chris Hicks and all of his friends. Watch them in the, as they win the game. And if they get a good win, that'll be good for, for all of us. In Towson, Sean Stepner, WMAR2 News.